Hello, I'm Claudia Howell. I'm a registered nurse and I oversee the AED devices here at Christ Presbyterian Church. We currently have two AEDs and we are in Fellowship Hall at this time and this is where one of the AEDs is located. So please keep that in mind. AED stands for Automatic External Defibrillator and it's going to be marked in a box similar to this. So if it is necessary, if you have someone who's having a, a medical cardiac emergency and they have gone down, then the first thing we want to think about doing is bringing the AED to the site and notifying 911. Open your door here, grab your AED, you have a handle on it, and then you're going to take it over to um, the person that's having an event. <clears throat> I would encourage you all to take a CPR class um, so you're a little more well versed and this is just a very down and dirty um, quick overview of the AED. Remember if the person has had a cardiac arrest you're not going to do anything to harm them by using the AED. So AEDs have been shown to save lives out in the field if they're administered within the first minute or two minutes. So if you have somebody that is down, you're going to establish that they're not responsive. You want to check to make sure that they actually do not have a pulse and they may or may not be breathing at that point in time. Um, in the AED kit on the backhand side is a pair of scissors. If you need to cut their clothing, please do that. If you have someone who is very sweaty, um, you need to make sure that you have used a napkin to clean off their chest because if they're very sweaty, they're very moist, the pads are not going to stick to them. There are some gloves right in here. If you have a, if you have a victim who has a lot of hair on their chest, there's also a razor in here for that purpose. So you want to make sure that you shave them real quickly before you put the pad onto them again so there's good contact. So you've, you've determined that the patient is not responsive. You don't feel that they have a heartbeat. They may, may, may or may not be breathing. So we're going to go ahead. And if you are with the victim, you want to make sure that you say, Pastor Steve, go call 911. You've already got the AED and you've got it ready to go. You're going to go ahead and just open up your AED and it's going to start talking to you right away. Stay calm. Follow these voice instructions. Make sure 911 is called now. Okay, so it's going to... Begin gonna... by exposing patient's bare chest and torso. Remove or cut clothing if needed. Okay. When patient's chest and torso are exposed, remove square foil package from lid of AED. Tear open foil package across dotted line and remove pads. Next, separate one of the white pads completely from blue plastic liner. Begin peeling from the tabbed corner. Next, separate one of the white pads completely from blue plastic liner. Begin peeling from the tabbed corner. Next, separate one of the white pads completely from blue. Firmly place the pad without the liner on the patient exactly as illustrated. This pad can be placed on either of the two locations shown. Make Next, sure you have good contact. Next, liner off of the second white pad. Firmly place the second pad on the opposite location, exactly as illustrated. Firmly place the second pad on the opposite location, exactly as illustrated. <laughs> Firmly place the second pad on the opposite location, exactly as illustrated. So at this point in time, I can't simulate the rest of it, but what the pads are going to be doing is it's going to be checking the patient's heart rate. The AED will not fire if it's not an appropriate time to do it. So it's going to, after you put it on, go ahead and allow it to evaluate the heart rhythm. If you have been doing CPR on the patient, let go for just a second so it can do that. If it says that it's not going to shock and if it's not an appropriate time to do it, then go ahead and continue your CPR. It's going to keep reading it, it's going to keep monitoring it, and it's going to keep giving you prompts. If it tells you that a shock needs to be delivered, 
Everyone needs to have their hands off of the patient. If you're touching them when it delivers a shock, you're going to get shocked as well. So if it says that it is necessary and it's going to say shock delivered once it happens, make sure everybody is clear of the patient. It will reevaluate the rhythm at that point in time. If it didn't convert it into a, a healthier rhythm, then it'll go ahead and, and keep sensing and, and keep delivering shocks as necessary. So you're going to go ahead and continue to do this until the medics arrive at that point in time. So um, they will take over. They will probably either continue CPR, they'll put their own AED on, but at least you've had the opportunity to stabilize the patient for those first critical minutes. So that is what, um, that's really, it's a very easy unit to use. It's very safe. So it's not going to do anything um, that's going to harm the patient further. And again, remember that this is only for use in larger children and adults. This is not meant to be put on an infant or a small child. So in that, if that were the case, it would be CPR for them. So that is our automatic external defibrillator.